Okay. Okay, so new voice today, not um, not Mr. Fisher. Hopefully, um, you'll be learning as much today as you would normally learn from Mr. Fisher. We're going to talk about finding the discriminant. One thing that you need to remember is that the discriminant actually comes from within the quadratic formula. So if you remember from yesterday or maybe an hour ago when you watched that first video. Um, here's the quadratic formula. Okay, so we find x by taking the opposite of b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So quadratic formula. Now the discriminant is actually just this little inside part there. That is going to tell you the nature and number of your roots. So just a little quick definition. The number and nature of your roots. And if you remember back, roots is like another word for solutions. Okay? So, your discriminant is going to give you the number and nature of your roots. So, you've got a couple of options for the discriminant. If your discriminant is positive, so you work through the b squared minus 4ac and you get a positive number then that is letting you know you have two real roots or two real solutions. If you work through and your discriminant is negative, meaning you've got some negative number, then you have two imaginary roots or solutions. I'm going to write solutions there so you remember. Solutions and roots are the same thing. Okay, and then we have one more choice. We have a positive number, we have a negative number, and then we also have a discriminant of zero. If our discriminant is zero, we have one real root. And in parentheses here, solution just so you remember those are interchangeable. So there's a little um, intro. Remember, if you know the quadratic formula, then you also know the discriminant. It's this right here, b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so let's try a couple of these problems, see what we can do. Determine the nature of the roots. So remember that's what your discriminant is going to tell you. The nature and how many you have. So the first thing we want to do is figure out, remembering just from a second ago, oh, that's not very good. Still in highlighter mode. So page back, let's start and remember here's our quadratic formula. Okay, now what part of that was our discriminant? Remember? I know you're answering right now. Here it is. You were right. That part is your discriminant. So before we can use that, we have to know B, A, and C. So I'm going to use the numbers in my problem to figure out A, B, and C. A. B, this pen's not wanting to write well. There we go. So remember, A always comes in front of the x squared, B is always in front of the x term, and then C is your constant. So now I'm going to take A, B, and C and plug it into my discriminant. A is 3, B is negative 5, and if you're wondering why negative 5, because of this minus sign there in front. C 
is negative 2 again for the same reason because of that negative sign. Now here's the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. b is negative 5, so I'm just plugging in. a is 3, c is negative 2. And then we're just going to evaluate. We're going to use our square, our minus, and multiplication. So here we go. Negative 5 squared is 25 positive. I'm going to go ahead and put that minus sign there, and I'm going to multiply 4 times 3. This is 12. 12 times negative 2. What is that? Negative 24. So we're subtracting a negative. 25 minus a negative, and hopefully you remember from yesterday that that's going to make those plus, and we get 25 plus 24, which is 49. Now, what does that tell us? 49 is not an answer choice, but this discriminant is telling us about the nature and number of the roots. So if you remember back, if we have a positive number, let's go back here, we have a positive number, what will our discriminant be? Two, or I'm sorry, what will our solutions be? Two real roots. So with our positive 49, we have two unequal real roots because this was positive. Okay. All right, let's try another one. Why are the arrows not working for me today? Sorry about that. Okay, so again, we're going to determine the nature of the roots. We're going to start with our discriminant, which hopefully by now you're remembering is b squared minus 4ac. And I'm going to label a, b, and c. And then I'm going to write those over here just so that I remember. Again, B is negative 24 because of that minus sign. Okay, so I'm going to plug in negative 24, square that, subtract 4 times A, which is 2, times C, which is 72. Uh, we may, um, you may need a calculator for this. I probably will. Um, so hang on one second. Let's pull up our handy dandy little calculator. And there it comes. We're going to wait just a second on it. And actually all of this you could put in in one swift motion and have your discriminant done clear all that out. So we're going to multiply, or actually we're going to square negative 24. And I'm just going to put in 24 because I know a negative squared is going to be positive. And that is 576. And then I'm going to subtract 4 times 2 times 72. So what is 4 times 2 times 72? It's 576. Okay. So 576 minus 576. That's going to give us 0. So what does that tell us about our discriminant? you remember, I'm going to go back a couple pages, our first page of notes, zero. Zero tells us we have one real root. One real root. So, A is your correct answer. We have one real solution. Okay, so this isn't too bad. Let's do one more, and then I'm going to turn you loose and let you do it yourself. This one, we're actually finding the discriminant. We're not deciding the nature and the number of the roots. We're actually just going to get a number. So we want to start, always start by identifying your A, B, and C terms. A is 4, 
B is negative 5 and C is 4. So remembering the discriminant, I know that that's B squared minus 4AC. B in this case is negative 5. A is 4 and C is 4. So squaring negative 5 we get 25. Multiplying 4 times 4 this is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. So 25 minus 64, I don't know if any of you all need a calculator for that, but let's just see what it comes out to be. 25 minus 64 is a negative 39. So our discriminant is negative 39. And that's all we were asked. We were just asked to find the discriminant, not the number or the nature of the roots. So I'm going to choose C. Hopefully that will help you get started. Have a good day. It stopped? Okay.